The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the SwiftTech H220 liquid CPU cooler. The box design is really nice. They have a picture here of the product on the front and there is plenty of features and specifications as well as benchmarks on the box. So if you're picking this up in store, you'll be very informed. Now let's see what's inside. Packaged very well. The fans and the radiator have this bubble wrap around it. Let me remove that. I'll have a closer look at this in just a minute. And at the bottom, all the materials needed for installing it on just about any current socket that's on the market and a fan adapter. They include a top-notch fan adapter. You've got two installation options. You can use the included screws or you can stick it where you want it. Also note the sleeved leads. This is a four-pin Molex lead which would get connected into the power supply and this is a four-pin CPU fan header lead and it would get connected into the the motherboard and there are eight four pin fan connections. So with the power supply connection made and the connection into the motherboard then you can connect the pump as well as the fans into the fan adapter and that way there isn't any load on the motherboard's four pin CPU fan header. So the pump would get connected here and then you would just connect the fans into these two fan connectors. And you have five other connectors to install other fans. Now, how does this ALC or advanced liquid cooler, some people like to call them AIOs or all-in-ones differ than the many other advanced liquid CPU coolers that are on the market. And there are a lot of these on the market lately and there's no wonder because if you're looking for a really good cooler, you know, something between a good air cooler and traditional water cooling, well, something like this is definitely the solution. So how does this liquid CPU cooler separate itself from the many others that are out there? Well, first of all, it has a six watt pump and that is tremendous. It's around five times the wattage of your standard pump and that means more flow. Also with this particular unit you can add other components in the loop. It isn't sealed but the connectors are very very good so you do not have to worry about them coming off. You can add a Northbridge block Southbridge block if you wanted to you can even introduce video cards into the loop. The reason is you've got a fantastic pump. You don't have to worry about it. You could not do this in a standard liquid CPU cooler that is sealed. Also, they have a fantastic 240 millimeter radiator. Also, the fans come pre-installed on this. And as well, there's a fill hole on the radiator. Now let me first go over these specifications and then I'll have a closer look at it. I'll start with the pump. This pump is variable. The speed is PWM adjustable, pulse width modulation. It gets connected into the CPU fan header so you can control it that way anywhere from 1200 to 3000 RPMs. This is a 12 volt pump as I mentioned before, it's six watts, has a four pin connector, and it pretty much lasts forever, 60,000 hours. It comes with very tough, flexible tubing, so you do not have to worry about leaks. The dimensions of the tubing, first of all in inches, five eighths by three eighths, or 16 by 10 millimeters. They include two 120 millimeter four pin fans, and note that these are actually installed, so you don't have to worry about installing them yourself. These are PWM or pulse width modulation adjustable fans. 
anywhere from 800 to 1800 RPMs. The airflow is anywhere from 24 to 55 CFMs. The noise level is between 16 to 33 decibels. So these fans can be adjusted to a silent mode to be very quiet or a performance mode where they're a little louder. Now this is where you would top the system up with liquid if you're adding another component or components to the loop. Like for example, maybe you're adding a video card water block as well as a Northbridge water block no problem with this all-in-one cooler and that's not typical because most all-in-one coolers you cannot do that with and there's a number of reasons the tubes are sealed you cannot cut them and also the pumps are underpowered but that's not the case here removing this fill cap is really easy you can use a flat top screwdriver or a coin and it just unscrews then top the system up and screw it back into place. Just make sure that it's tight enough so it's not going to leak. And note that the radiator has brass tubes as well as copper fins and the overall dimension is 269 by 127 by 29 millimeters. Now just have a look at how the tubes are connected. They use these clamps, but these clamps actually have screws. You can use a Phillips screwdriver if you need to remove or install these clamps if if you're adding other components to the loop. And the same clamps are used on the pump end. The CPU water block is comprised of a nice smooth slab of copper that will make excellent contact between it and the CPU. Now this comes shipped with a piece of plastic on it to protect it. So remember to remove that before installation. And note the sleeved lead as well as the four pin connector. Both of the fans also have beautiful sleeved leads and four pin connectors. Now have a listen to the pump. Now have a listen with everything connected, keeping in mind that the fans are at full speed. If you're in the market for the very best all-in-one liquid CPU cooler, well, this would definitely be it. SwiftTech has done a fantastic job at designing this all-in-one cooler. The pump is so impressive. It is four to five times the performance of most pumps that are on the standard all-in-one liquid CPU coolers. Couple that pump with large, tough, durable tubes. You can add components components to the system, a great radiator, and a couple of fantastic fans. You've got a product that has win-win written all over it. Without a doubt, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review, and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.